Hi guys. Well, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful, but unfortunately a little bit of a winter day here in uh, paradise in the Sunshine State. Right now in Florida, where it is, I guess it is 44 degrees, so I'm just going to hang out here in front of the, in front of Doomsday Trailer, taking a sun bath out of that cold north wind. Is there anywhere to set this camera down or not? There is nowhere level on this gator. I don't understand why. I guess this is to keep the water from running off of it or something. Uh, I do not know why there's not a level surface anywhere on a John Deere Gator. Can't find one. Uh, but anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Saturday morning here in the end times. That would be January 20th. 2024 and uh we all know what January 20th 2024 means is that we are one year away from Donald Trump retaking the White House one year from today Donald Trump will have his hand on a Bible Yep, 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 yep. Donald Trump with his hand on a Bible. Uh, to begin his next four-year reign of terror. And guys, you know, I know that I... That, that I promised I was going to try not to just turn Humpty Dumpty Tribe in, in, into just another... Trump derangement syndrome uh, <laughs> channel, but uh, you know the derangement. Does Donald Trump derange me? I uh, I'll have to look up the the term, the definition of derangement. He he doesn't so much derange me as he just actively offends me he he i find him the single most offensive human being on the planet uh he he is more offensive you know if you combine joe biden who's pretty goddamn offensive joe biden vladimir putin the little guy over there in North Korea, maybe the guy over there in China. Uh, just add them all up. And I, I have never met a, a human being in my in 64 years of living who he embodies everything, everything that I despise about humanity, uh, the, the, the way this planet is going. He is the embodiment of every single thing that is wrong on this planet. I, I, I mean, just looking at the guy's face, listening to his voice, and this more than anything, is what is already sending me into this just this this kind of sense of of pending doom hanging over the doom donald trump is kind of like a you know he's kind of like a looming tornado uh over a wildfire is 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 what this dude is he just he just adds this extra layer of uh, of just just this diarrhea brown cloud 
hanging over this country and this planet and, and just as sitting back watching this happen. But uh, as you know, I, I, it's not like I'm the only person having this rant. Uh, and, and again, it is, you know, there, 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 there's Donald Trump. I guess you can call him the human, the, the human uh, Donald Trump. And, and then there's this, I guess, 100 million Americans who uh, who support this guy, which is which is actually the more disturbing. Uh, it, it's a hundred million times more disturbing than than Donald Trump himself. The fact that there is one human being in this country that could walk into a voting booth and endorse this motherfucker. I it it, it it's just a jaw dropping mystery uh, how, how anyone could do this and you know, I'm, I'm sitting here in Donellan, Florida for God's sake in Citrus County, Florida which my guess I'm, I, 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 I'm guessing Citrus County, Florida and certainly, uh, uh, well, Donnellan's actually in Marion County, 75% uh, Trump. You know, as I've said, everybody from the trailer trash here on this side of the line to the millionaires sitting 300 feet from me, the one common denominator between them is is their devotion to Donald Trump. It, so you, you can't place this along socioeconomic uh, education. Uh, what explains it? How how some high school dropout living in a you know in, in some goddamn single wide trailer can be is devoted to this guy is some millionaire living in a in a 10,000 square foot riverfront mansion with a fucking jaguar parked out in the driveway uh just it it it, it completely mystifies me how how one fucking human being what, what does anybody living in one of these beat up old single wide trailers think that Donald Trump uh, is, is, is going to do for their lives Let's see, no, probably the most disturbing thing is I as I mentioned, to, I wrote in a comment to the artist formerly known as Vegematic, the uh, you know the aging hippie with that hilarious knee slapper video he made about make America groovy again, make America groovy again. That you know it's kind of the same joke as make America great again. America was never groovy. And uh, the, the, the very thought of making America groovy again when there's 100 million people uh, apparently supporting the single most ungroovy human being on the planet. Donald Trump is, is the antithesis of groovy. Uh, make America groovy again. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right, dude. But as I pointed out to him in, in, in my comment last night, you know, I, I've been down here for uh, 
you know, in the middle of Trompville now for about 10 weeks. And generally speaking, I find the people down here uh, to, to be more friendly, to be friendlier than just as a general rule that they tend to be f just nicer, more sociable, uh, People then, then the, the the little limp dick lefties up there in Ithaca, New York. I, I, I mean, I, I, I've been down here ten weeks. I'm I'm trying to think. Have I ever met an asshole? I, I thought the guy who used to live in the trailer next door. I thought he was an asshole, but I actually got to even got to know him a little bit. Last year, he came over here to do some tree work and. Uh, you know, and, and, and after getting to know him a little bit better, uh, he, he just is, is just another regular guy out there, uh, you know, just doing what he can while he still can. Now, we did not talk about Donald Trump, but, I mean, which I don't do. I mean, the reason, Obviously, I guess I get along so well down here with people is because I, I don't mention the name Donald Trump. Uh, to, but, 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 but how these Trump tards, whether they're millionaires or whether they're trailer trash, or they're, they're friendly, they're engaging, uh, they, they have good senses of humor. Uh, that they seem like genuinely nice people. Uh, most of them seem, you know, just meeting them and talking, you know, like fairly intelligent people. And and, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm meeting these people and, and just assuming, you know, usually maybe because of the Trump 24 uh, hat or whatever on their head that they're getting ready to vote for Donald Trump and, and, and I just and, and I just want to reach out and I want to fucking slap them like what are you doing with that thing on your head J just braying braying your ignorance that that's uh, the, these people with the, these Trump hats or shirts or flags it's just a a public display of how completely just what a clueless fucking moron ignoramus you are to uh, to to support this motherfucker uh, And I was, I was getting, I got this email from uh, this, this uh, clearly non-Trump uh, friend of mine. And uh, a couple of days ago, she's, she's already getting in a mild panic because uh, uh, she actually had to go on mind altering is that the word calming medication some sort of tranquilizer uh during the uh the last election uh literally had to take mood altering drugs to keep her from going into complete trump derangement syndrome meltdown and uh, so her doctor retired, and now she's she's running around trying to get a uh, a, a prescription for I don't know what kind of fucking tranquilizer it was, uh, you know, needing to get back on tranquilizers. I I, I don't know if is is Trump derangement syndrome. I mean, can you go to a psychiatrist? 
now and claim you need tranquilizers, you need anxiety medication because you suffer from Trump derangement syndrome one year before uh, he goes back in the White House. <clears throat> so I, I, I look this tranquilizer up and, and it says, what did it say? I've, th this is just a few of them. Uh, can cause, what did it say? It can cause confusion, confusion, sadness, depression, and suicidal ideation. Uh, you know, the anxiety medicine that you take for uh, depression can, uh, can cause suicidal ideation and, and so I wrote her back you know I copied and pasted that she and she emails me back she goes well any of these things can cause that and I emailed her back I said uh, darling I, I, I wasn't talking about the drug I was talking about four more years of Donald Trump in the fucking White House causing confusion, anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation. My guess is there, there are people who will actually commit suicide uh, on election day next year. Uh, so of course I'm gonna be arriving back probably, probably I will come back here next year if this trailer is still available. Uh, so I will probably be arriving <clears throat> in Denellen, Florida on election day when uh, Donald Trump uh, trounces uh, Joe Biden. Uh, and it will be an absolute celebration going on here. So uh, at least I don't have to worry about civil war. Uh, breaking out, which is what would happen if, if, if Donald Trump loses. Uh, so it, it's basically an announcement of civil war. If uh, that these Trump tards will not, I mean, Donald Trump and, and his legions of, of ass licking toady cult members will not admit defeat. So, uh, on the hair-thin chance that uh, this little fucktard Joe Biden uh, squeaks by uh, in a hotly contested election, uh, we will have a civil war, but it ain't going to happen that uh, the, the Democrats are just uh, obviously determined to commit suicide. Uh, <clears throat> which is exactly what they're doing by, by running Biden. Is they're, just, they're, they're just handing the, the, handing the White House to Donald Trump. So I'm, I'm really enjoying, <clears throat> you know, over there on Pile of Fish, looking for my Doomer Chick Forever, uh, here, here on Pile of Fish in Dunellan, Florida. It, you, you can imagine oh, what this looks like. So I'm, so last night, so I go on there last night, and there's this one woman. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I go on this one woman, and her profile says, this is pretty much a, a direct quote. I think I'm remembering this pretty verbatim. She goes, I don't consider myself to be political, but... If we were married and you voted for Donald Trump, I would divorce you. <laughs> uh, God, so I, uh, 
I emailed her back and I, and I said, I assure you, uh, darling, we would, we would be happily married uh, come next November. So then I go, and I think it was the very next profile I, I opened up, this next woman. And what is she, what, what was hers? And, and again, this is pretty much a verbatim quote, and this was her entire profile, her entire profile about her. <clears throat> I am a MAGA patriot who supports our, then in parentheses, real president. I am a MAGA patriot who supports our real president. I am not good at playing or talking dumb. So if you are not a Donald Trump supporter, pass me by, is what she said. So of course I emailed her back and said, well, darling, you're doing a very good job and uh, see if she has any idea. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that joke uh, went right over her head. And, and then I look at her education level. She has a master's degree. I mean, I, I don't know what her degree is in, but you know, on the education level, she's got a fucking master's degree. So I, I, I mean that I mean a college degree or even a master's, uh, you know, it isn't a, a a a guarantee of intelligence, but it, but it's an indicator, you know, that that people, it, it, masters, what's that, uh, five or six years, that uh, that that people w with master's degrees have, you would think at least on some level, they would have, you know, exposed themselves to how to develop the most basic um, commands of critical thinking, you know, discernment and critical thinking and nuance. Uh, that 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 you should be able to be presented with, with something and, and 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 run it through any sort of filter uh, and it and, and, and reject it as, as toxic poison uh, just ugly nasty creepy and just plain wrong. It, 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 is, it, is, uh, it, it is just not understanding the basic difference between right and wrong. Uh, you know, I add up, speaking of right, you know, I add up Ronald Reagan, Daddy Bush, and Baby Bush, which are the three Republican presidents I've lived with in, in my lifetime. I add up all three of those motherfuckers. And, 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 and I assure you, I, I despise Ronald Reagan, Daddy Bush, and Baby Bush as much as I despise... Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden. But you take Ronald Reagan, Daddy Bush, Bill Clinton, Baby Bush, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden. Okay, you take the whole fucking bunch of them, uh, of, of those scumbags every one of whom I despise, okay? You add, you add them up, you combine them, and you can throw in Hillary Clinton 
into the in, 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 into the batch. You you combine them, and they do not produce the uh, the, the the feeling of, of just moral repugnance that uh, just looking at Donald Trump's gangster face or listening to his gangster voice. And I don't know. I, I know that some people who shall remain nameless, although I think we know who we're talking about, uh, are already going into full-scale meltdown about Project 25 and and, and all of this fascist takeover uh, of, of this government and uh, Adolf Hitler all over again and blah, blah, blah. And, and while I, I, I don't share their level of alarm, it's, it's really just the thought that for four fucking years... That we're, we're, we're going to have to look at, at this fucker's ugly face and listen to his fucking voice. It just, it, it, as I say, it, it's not derangement. It, I guess it's Trump depression syndrome. What are you barking at? Oops, here comes a one of my fellow Trump card neighbors. I think I will wrap this up while I still can. Bye, guys.